Okay, hi. Um, we're back and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So the bowl I made this morning, um, I can't remember, I think it was about 10 o'clock. So I've just left it out to dry it, and it's quite a, a drying day. There's not much um, moisture in the air. So if you're wondering when's a good time to take it out of the mold, well you can see at the side here the clay as it dries, oop, there, it's actually starting to shrink away from the bowl. So I probably should have taken it out maybe an hour ago or a little bit earlier even, just when it starts to stiffen up. So when it becomes leather hard. So it's still, um, you can still bend it a little bit, but it's not gonna break on you. The more of these you do, the more you will know when's the perfect time to take out. So the easiest way to take your bowl out of the mold is literally stick your hand inside, flip it upside down, and hopefully, hang on, I might even put mine down. Okay, I'm gonna put it down like that. And get your fingernails under the rim, and the whole lot will come out. Voila! Now, the next thing is you might need to tidy up your bowl. This one's not too bad because I use a lot of dark clay. I've got little specks of um, Raku clay in mine. Hopefully your work surface will be nice and clean. Now, how do you get it up from here? Well, I'm going to have to lift the whole thing up. Put my hand on there and flip it. I don't know how I'm going to do that and film, but we'll see how we go. Oop. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. Oh, okay, no, the rim of this is very heavy. Made it. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'll just put my board back down. And there you have it. That is a bowl, a thin bowl. It's, it's fragile, but the fact that you're using paper clay um, means that it is, um, even though it's still fragile, it is actually quite a sturdy clay. So if you have, like for on this one, we've got some scrappy edges. I gave you a sponge that you should be able to, again, moisten and just run your sponge along those edges, okay? And that's my son's video going off. Sorry about that. I'm not going to reshoot. <laughs> Um, I don't have a spare sponge here, I don't think, but I might just use um, a bit of water. I'll just see if I can do it with a, a chucks. It might work. So I've just moistened the chucks down, that chucks, and I will start to smooth out my edge. Yeah, see the edge was quite thin it wants to break on this one I was using a different stamp to the one that you've got you've got it in your pack so I couldn't use it today I didn't really think that through so well but anyway so if you're careful uh, and like I said you don't leave it as long as what I have this smoothing out process shouldn't be too difficult okay if you end up with a little bit like I have here. See how that bit has broken. If you're very clever, you can get a bit of fresh clay. Just squeeze it out so it's the same thickness as this clay. And then you can join it back in. That's the beauty of paper clay. You can actually join wet clay to semi-dried clay. Because of the paper pulp in it, it allows you to do that. So that's one of the reasons why I'm getting you to use paper clay and the fact that it, it dries and fires to a really lovely white consistency. Okay, so that's the last part of the process. I would um, probably wrap this up and keep it moist until you can get it to school. While it's um, moist, it is a little bit sturdier. Once it's dried out, it can be fragile. So unless you've got a spot at home that you can lay these out flat and then get them to school flat, um, I would probably just 
uh, get a um, little garbage bag and wrap them up. Okay, so hope that has been of help. Cheers.